It's time for another episode of Stump a Corner. This is my friend Alonzo Bowden. If he looks familiar, it's because he's a very funny comedian. I found out I have some raggedy ass health insurance. Man. My doctor was like, look, if anything ever happens to you, get in the car. Because your car insurance is so much better than your health insurance. You may have seen it with me on The Tonight Show a number of times. He's done Showtime specials. But more importantly, he is a true car guy. Uh, we're going to play a little game. Okay, I'm going to blindfold Alonzo and put him in three vehicles. We're going to test his spidey senses. Can he tell what he's in just by the sound, by the tactile feel? Do I get to drive him blindfolded? No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, well. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Well, I have the blindfold right here. This is actually a training bra <laughs> from a teenage girl. Now, here, put this on. All right. I can now literally not see a thing. It's almost scary. I can't see anything. Okay, good. I'm good. totally trusting you right now. All right. All right, let's, All right. Let's open the door. That's a garage door. That's a garage door. I've okay. I identified that yeah. as a roll-up garage door. Right. That's not folding. The Shelby GT350R is the perfect Mustang. 526 horsepower, V8 engine, it's got an 8300 RPM red line. When you hit six grand, you still got 2300 more to go. Which way am I going, forward or backwards? I feel like uh, Stevie Wonder's road oh, manager. Okay. Here we go. Here we, here we go. the door. Oh, okay. Okay, I okay. Can you get in there? Okay. Oh, I'd say it's newer. Post 2000. Post 2000. I like it. Whatever it is, got leg room. All right. Driver. Let's, let's go. go. <laughs> All right, let's go for a ride. I hear a great engine. I hear a high revving V8. That's what I'm guessing. High here. revving V8, okay. So the interior isn't like a super high end luxury car. Okay. More sports car. And I'm not going to use taste. I'm not going to lick any part of the no, car. No, I don't want you licking any part <laughs> of it. Uh, yeah. Suspension's sporty because I can feel the road. Could this be a Mustang? <laughs> I'm thinking too much. I'm going to throw a guess. All right, I'm going to throw a guess out. The GT3 Porsche. Wrong. Let's, Let's see. take off the blindfold. All right, what do we got? Wow, I should have stayed with my Mustang guess. I missed by a continent. One down. This 04 Porsche Carrera GT is one of my favorites. I love the fact that Porsche designed a special manual transmission for this car. Fire it up. Not an Escalade. Not an Escalade, That's, very yeah, good. I'm gonna go with that. Okay. 80. It's not Italy. I don't think it's England. It's not an American car. Germany? Germany is correct. Yeah, Germany. How many cylinders? Ten. Ten is correct. The obvious guess would be that it's a Porsche Targa. Yeah, and I'm trying to remember the name of the car because I'm visualizing it now. You're in the right area. Yeah. What is your guess? We went to Germany. It's a Porsche. It's a Carrera GT. Very good. Exactly. I got it. There you go. I got it. There you go. Yeah, very good. Very good. Beautiful. The V10. Wow. What an Isn't that a great motor? The only thing I can say is I thought Germans were taller. Yeah. Yeah. I thought was. they, you know, yeah. would have provided a little leg room. No, so, uh, no. Well, okay. they did. They provided just a little leg room. <laughs> let's open the door of truth. I don't know why it would be truth. Let's open the door. <laughs> The Duesenberg Model J was the supercar of its day. When most cars could barely reach 60 miles an hour, this thing could do well over 120. Lap belt oh, only. Right. No door? No door. All right, but well, this is a good car to get rid of people you don't like. Exactly. <laughs> a very old car, maybe from the 20s or 30s, something like that. That is correct. Is it like a Stutz Bearcat or something like that? Something like that, but not that. Not that. How many cylinders does it feel like? So is this like one of those straight eights or something like that? It's a straight eight? It's a straight eight. Okay, I got that. 
Have you ever heard the expression, it's a doozy? Ah, so it's a Duesenberg. Duesenberg, it's very good Duesenberg. guess. It's there you go, you got it. All right, well, thanks. I mean, that was a great hint. Yeah. Thanks for playing, you bet your life. And you do bet your life every time you got one of these <laughs> yeah, things. Well, you got two out of three. I'll take that. That's good, yeah. I'll take that. Yeah, in Vegas. Two out of three ain't bad. No, two out of three say. ain't bad.